Well, the city of Rockford has several historic buildings and homes, and many of them were designed by an influential architect. We're talking about Jesse Barloga. Luke Fredrickson is joining us from Midway Village. Thanks for being here to share yeah. more about Jesse for Throwback Thursday. So tell us a little bit. Can you tell us a little bit about how Jesse got into this? Like, what's his story? Yeah. How did he get into this? He's a, a local. He, he grew up in Pecatonica on a 300 acre farm, and he was born in 1888. Um, one interesting story about his youth is he was very uh, studious, smart, and loved to read. And he would ride a, a horse and buggy to school uh, five miles, and he trusted the horse to know the way and just would put <laughs> his face into a book, and it worried his mother because the, the horse, when it, the horse would see school or see home, the horse would kind of take off, and, and he would just stay in his book, and she was worried he'd get thrown from the horse. So he was a very smart, uh, ambitious kid. And uh, he ended up going to the University of Illinois and studying architecture, um, graduating in 1911. And he opened his own firm in Rockford by 1919 after apprenticing with some local architects. So uh, it was really in a golden age of architectural design. There were new styles, new materials available. And Rockford was really booming then with a lot of wealthy uh, people to hire him to design new homes and buildings and new neighborhoods spreading out from the downtown area. So um, he, he was very prolific and remains Rockford's most uh, well-known and influential architect. Very interesting, yeah. He yeah. seems very studious, I will say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you'd see the interiors of some of his homes or some of his noteworthy buildings, very ornate. Um, a lot of attention to detail and craftsmanship. He was kind of well-known for one trademark window design, like a half window with a spider web uh, a spoke design of, of the window panes. Um, so he, 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 d he designed in all sorts of different styles, Mediterranean Renaissance, Georgian, Colonial, some Art Deco as well, Tudor. And, um, and it's, it's just neat to see these homes uh, still throughout town and, and in great shape every now and then. A Bar Logo home comes on the market and uh, attracts a lot of attention and you know, it's nice to go out and check out an open house and see the details of his work up, up close. Yeah, that's very cool, and that's also very cool that they're still around. Now, yeah. what neighborhoods mm -hmm. in Rockford can we find these homes in? Yes, it's uh, along National Avenue in the Edgewater area, um, Clinton Street, Harlem Boulevard, along the river. Uh, he had over 11 homes, 11 homes and many other restorations in the Browns Hills neighborhood, which is over uh, behind Sinisippi Park. And that was a new developed area when he was uh, working. And then uh, also uh, through Spring Creek and Spring Brook and in the uh, Edgebrook neighborhood uh, out near Alpine, he, uh, he was a pioneer of that first development back in the uh, 20s and 30s. So uh, it, was, it was pretty much the, the, the nicer parts of town at the time. Uh, unfortunately, the depression hit his business pretty hard and his, his project slowed down. And then when World War II showed up, he ended up working in Detroit, uh, helping to design the B-29 bomber and doing a lot of drawings uh, for the war effort. Well, that's all very cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here and sharing all of that with us. He seems like he pays very attention to detail, Jesse. He, he does. Uh, uh, you know, the, you'll see some buildings in the Rockford News Tower. There's a, the American Insurance Building next to the Coronado. Chances are, if you see some really interesting architecture, he might have been associated with it in Rockford. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you Thanks sharing for, all of that interesting information.